this morning, famous authors are banding together to fight against banned books. People like James Patterson and Judy Bloom are teaming up with the literary advocacy group PEN America. And they argue that Florida's policies about books in schools are too restrictive. Fox 35's Randy Hildreth is live from Orange County. And Randy, the organization, wants to open an office in Florida that would push for more access to banned books. Hey, good morning to you both. Yeah, the organization PEN America feels like the issue with banned books is so bad here. They want to have this Miami office open before the end of the year. And they say this is an opportunity to have boots on the ground to fight back against what they say is censorship here. And this announcement is coming in the middle of their banned book week. Now, this week is a nationwide push where they are pushing people to read books they feel like have been unfairly targeted. And they say it's happening a lot in Florida. A few weeks ago, they released data about banned books across the country. The organization says it found nationwide book bans have gone up 33% and report Florida has banned more books than any other state. Now, Pin America CEO released a statement about this new office opening saying, quote, Florida has become the laboratory for censorship laws and the intimidation of teachers and librarians. It is extraordinary to witness a group of our nation's favorite authors pick up their pens to draw a line in the sand. The CEO says the office will hold public events and campaigns against book bans. Now, Pin America says it has the backing of at least 24 best selling authors with this new venture. These uh, authors either have ties to Florida or their books or pieces have been banned here in the state. And it's not just talk. They have also thrown money behind this new office. Pen America says authors have donated $3.6 million for this office to open in Miami. And Randy, I know you've been following this very closely. Moms for Liberty, that's another group. They have a different opinion. What do they say? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can imagine there will likely be some pushback. I reached out to a Moms for Liberty local representative uh, within Central Florida this morning. She says she plans to bring up this new office at the statewide chapter meeting tonight and not just push back about this office. They are also pushing back against the banned book week. They have dubbed this week instead teach kids to read week, saying that the focus should be less on these banned books and more on raising reading levels. I'll send it back to you live this morning. Randy Hildreth, Fox 35 News. Thank you, Randy.